So the mayor talking here about shady contracts and the fact that you had some contractual works done recently and it's already crumbling. It's already <laughs> the infrastructure. It's already crumbling. And he talks a little bit in a post he made about these contracts being awarded on the basis of favoritism rather than based on merit. Right? And you know, persons, you know, even though it's not right, might feel a little way the favoritism contracts were being um, executed, performed at a high level. But it's when the soon as the thing finish, soon as the thing finish, the infrastructure is crumbling already. And the mayor of London is drawing our attention to substandard work, such as the failed drainage system along Independence Avenue, he says, by First Choice Supermarket, First Choice Mark. Which again exemplifies poor execution of contracts in London. And this is just a microcosm, you know, of what's happening nationally. We wish we had the resources to cover more of the, in, in, the incompetence, the nepotism, the favoritism. The friends, family and favorite favorites and flatterers. You know, the mantra and hallmark of the PPP. We wish we had more resources to cover that, you know. And when we ask for a little, um, when we ask for a little help to keep us going, some of us say, eh, them boys eating big off for us. You know, fancy chicken and eggs and so on. Them boys can eat off of us. Right? <laughs> That's what's up. We can talk about chicken and eggs just now. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> we can talk about some of the real story with chicken, with chicken and eggs. But I want y'all help keep me off the streets because <laughs> it's a thin line between these programs and some what's happening out there, folks. You know, thin, 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 thin lines. And so, um, Want to talk with the? Want to talk with the mayor of Linden about some of what we've been seeing and hearing? And y'all know he keeps he keeps it real. He keeps it real. Um, Maxine, we see you there, and Debbie Collins. See all of you folks on the live this morning. Tessa and Richard, good to have you all. Here with us. Help to keep us, folks, <laughs> off the streets, if you can. Uh, Mr. Mayor, a very, a very good morning to you. And thanks for being on our broadcast on such short notice. How are you doing? Hi, bless. Good morning, Sherrod. And bless. Good morning to the morning show. I am good by God's grace. Hope all is well with yourself. All is well, Mr. Mayor. Um, we are hearing of this, uh, sh uh, these shady contracts that are being dis being given out in Linden and the poor execution of them. I remember uh, talking with the regional chairman, Mr. Mayor, um, about a similar issue. And one of the things he was saying that struck me, he said, you know, um, Linden is where, and Region 10 is where contractors go to test out, you know, test out if they, they, they're going to train in Linden. <coughs> Lay out for us what is happening here. We saw you post some... Uh, photograph of um, a contract that was poorly executed, drains falling apart. Talk to us about what's happening in there. Um, thanks again, Sherrod, for allowing me to share. I think what is most unfortunate is when we have these sorts of work executed, the outcome is not only what we see in the work, but the actual outcome results in the suffering of communities. On Sunday last, the community of Linden experienced 
significant flooding due to heavy rainfalls. Now, the government on several occasions, were, they, they were engaged, um, the agencies of the government, but it's NDNI and others, to bring some relief to the flood situation in terms of how we address it, how we are going to approach having the works done, where those works will be done. The government not listening to the elected officials and working closely with those officials three times did works on some of those drains as far back as April, as far back as May 29th after the flooding. And even before then, when they had the flag raising celebrations, um, millions of dollars were spent in a particular area and we are still having the problem. Mm -hmm. But what the council would have proposed is that we have someone to have a proper understanding of what it requires to put down infrastructural works in the community of Linden in particular, because we are unique in our geography and topography as a hilly sand and clay with elevations measuring many times as much as 200 feet where people are living. Mm -hmm. So you cannot send contractors to test in Linden. You have to first have consultants who can give guidance to contractors and engineer on how to build in Linden. But that takes us to the actual contracts themselves. Because after the flooding, we recognize you had a company in that erosion, which again, because of the state of Linden, you have to build infrastructure with accompanying infrastructure. Roads must have drains and things like that. Right. So you see these contractors who are closely aligned to the government are now being given an experiment to conduct in this environment, which requires that sort of technical input. And what you see coming out of these contracts are where almost eight contracts reviewed after this rainfall on Sunday, uh -huh. you now see collapsing into the drains, being eroded, and also showing the foundation on which they were built to begin with was heavily compromised. Mr. Mayor, these specific, um, this specific contract or contracts, are they being awarded through the RDC, uh, I may have missed it, so, sorry, or the um, municipality where you are? And what is the procedure if it's through the municipality and, uh, and how is it escaping the council's um, purview? Well, this is, con this is government. Uh, most of these contracts are to the RDC. I think you understand as a former regional chairman myself, the procedure is at the RDC where in this particular case, our REO is the tender board chair of the RDC tender board. Even at the level of the municipality, large scale projects that comes from our subvention for tendering is done at the tender board of the R um, RDC. So one of the points we have made is that even though that we have representatives in myself and the regional chairman and others who through policies, for example, in the case of the RDC, have mentioned that all roads being constructed in the region must have drains, are not only overlooked in the policy when they are being done, but in the awarding and execution who they are given to mm -hmm. is only decided by that mechanism of the tender board that is aligned to the government through the area. It was the prime minister too, just to add, when he came to Linden after the floods on the 29th of May and into June, who said that he is working exclusively to the REO and the town clerk in having some of these works that we see collapsing and the compromise of these drains that are resulting in further flooding. This, uh, this most recent collapse of this drain uh, there, you, you, you have a sense who that contractor um, might have, have been and what has been, um, or uh, um, give us a sense of what do you think next steps should be? Well, obviously, if there are those type of works, I saw the president a few days ago saying the reason why they're fast tracking these projects, I don't know if that is what he meant. Fast tracking means it's justifiable to give it to incompetent family, friends, and favorites, where we've seen this sort of results. But I think that requires the consequence 
So not only termination, because if you note it, I know the contract is completed mm -hmm. and payments, I don't know if it's completed already. Obviously, it would be because contractors collect payments as works progress. Now, not only should they be made to pay that back, but they should be looked at in terms of further works. How do you assess a mini mart to do works such as construction and engineering? And the outcome is what we see. I only yesterday spoke to the RDC that gave me the information, and I've not been given the individuals that own the company, but I'm being told it's persons closely aligned with senior officials that are aligned to the people. Progressive Party in the administration of the region. Wow. So, it, it, you know, it, it used to be you had qualified individuals within these sectors, within these uh, fields, doing this kind of work. But you said here, you know, this is a this could be a mini march. You could be a hairdresser, barber. You go contracts to build a room. These are who were procuring food and selling food a couple of weeks ago and now building massive infrastructural projects as we see right now, such as drains and roads. And as we see the results right now that are collapsing on themselves and are affecting people and their livelihoods. Wow, interesting. Mr. May, anything else you want us to know about this issue before we let you go? Well, again, I think what is important as we uncover matters like these, it, it represents a few things. First, government's unwillingness to work closely with the elected officials and local communities so that they can be guided and so that they can have a full buy-in as to how they progress, one. And two, what government needs to do is to take the advice by these communities as the councils have done, which is to have experts to come in and to give a proper evaluation as to how infrastructural works are done, particular in the linden area that is hilly sand and clay with elevations as 200 feet above. The third thing is government must be serious when it comes to the billions in the public expenditure, especially in the public works. The president and government likes to boast that on their national agenda and in the ideological approach of the development of it, this nation, it lies in the infrastructural works that we are doing. And if this is the quality that we are seeing, then that entire principle and ideology that they're building this country on is a failed one as we see it falling apart before our eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well said, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much for coming through on such short notice um, and sharing this information with us. I know you, you uh, just uh, posted recently on your Facebook uh, page. There's been getting a lot of reaction. Um, and, you know, I think you said it earlier, this is not the only instance we've been there in Linden with you, with Regional Chairman, Icewater Road and, you know, other infrastructural works being done there, um, recently completed, already falling apart. So this has to be a very systemic problem. Um, now with this PVP administration. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome, Gerard. Have a blessed one, sir. All right. Thanks again. Folks, there you have it from the uh, mayor of Linden himself on this situation.